Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we will see what is trace statement and what exactly it is doing. If you read the help file from ClickSense, it is clearly mentioned that trace statement writes a string to the script execution progress window and we can also write inside click script log file. Mostly it is used for debugging purpose. Means trace statement will allow you to write some custom content inside your log file. Let's see this by an example. I have an empty click application right now. I will load one QVD. Let me load customer QVD. Okay. And I will give it name as a customer. So when I load this application, this screen which is showing data load progress, this is called as script execution progress window. And whenever you run the application on server, you will get log file. Those log file will give you all the information about this script reload process. So when you use the trace statement, it will give your custom statement inside script execution progress window as well as in your script file. I will write trace loading customer QVD. When I will load again, you can see we are getting this statement which we have passed through trace statement. Mostly, I am using trace statement for debugging of my variables. So say if I have created a variable date v today equal to today and I want to see how exactly it is getting created then I will say v today equal to v today. So you can see now it's showing you today's date. Whenever we want to recall the variables created inside script, we need to use dollar sign expansion. If you want to learn more about how to create variables, what is the difference between variables created using set and let, then please refer to my previous video. I have given link of that video in the description. Hope it is clear that what trace statement is doing and how to use it. Thanks and have a good day.